What's up guys, Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in today's video we're continuing our series on extensions for architecture. So this week we're going to check out one of the most complete collections of tools for architecture that I've used inside of SketchUp. And before we get started I want to thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So big thank you to Greg Bailey, Robert Sneed, and Liz Grimmett. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So this week, my patrons voted, and they selected Instant Architecture as the extension to cover this week. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So Instant Architecture is actually the name of a collection of SketchUp extensions that have been bundled together into a single collection for architectural modeling. So this collection has been created by Valley Architects, and like I said above, is probably the most complete architectural tool set for modeling that I've seen. So because of the number of tools and features contained in this extension, I included it in my guide to the top 20 extensions for architectural modeling inside of SketchUp. So if you want to get that guide, which has the link to the extension and info for more great architectural extensions, make sure to check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash architecture extensions. And so this collection of tools, there's a number of different tools in here um, for everything from creating rows to doing site grading. So there's a number of different site tools in here as well as a number of architectural tools. And I wanted to kind of give you an overview of what they do. So I figured I'd just kind of start from the beginning and start with the site tools and then talk a little bit about the architectural and building tools as well. So to start off, Instant Road is one of the tools contained inside of this extension. And what it does is it basically allows you to create roads along terrains inside of SketchUp. And so the way that it works is you have a terrain like this one, and then you also have a road. And you can uh, create a road in many different ways. You can either use a center line or you can also create this using faces. But basically the way that it works is you select a terrain, you select a road, and then you run the extension. And in this case, I'm gonna create a road from faces. And what's really great about all of the instant architecture um, tools is the number of different options that are contained in here. So if I click on this button right here, you can see how there's a number of different kinds of roads that I can create. Everything from just a simple dirt road all the way through things like uh, roads with walkways and um, roads with like curb and gutter, that kind of thing. So you can select any of these. And then they're even more editable down Below. So you can adjust like the thickness, the shoulder width, all of those different things. So I'm going to bring my shoulder width down just a little bit on this one. You can see how you can cr you can adjust the height and the width of your curb. So all very editable. And then once you're done, you can just click the button for make road. And what that's going to do is that's going to take this road and it's going to drop it down on this face. And it's going to actually create a road that runs along the path that you selected. So you can see how this can be very valuable for creating roads that run along terrain. So instant road is a great tool for creating roads. Um, instant architecture also contains a tool for creating different fences. So Instant Fence is a tool inside of uh, Instant Architecture that allows you to create different fences and railings. So this can be great both for site work, but also for architectural railings as well. And so for this one, what you do is you just create a path and you group it together and then you run the tool. And then within the tool, you have a number of different kinds of railings and fences. So for the site stuff, we're gonna wanna go with fences. And we can go ahead and select the option for wood. You can see how there's options for metal fencing as well as wood fencing. But you can click this button right here to see the library of different fences that are created in here or contained in here. And so you have a couple different options in here for the way these actually get placed. So like for example, let's say that we were going to use, we'll go with the, um, We'll go with the simple horse fence right here for this example. So you just click on that, and then down in here, you have options to adjust if this slopes along your path or if it steps, as well as different things like what kind of posts are contained in here. Everything is pretty much editable. I would say this extension probably has the largest library of options for things that I've ever seen. But for this example, we're go we'll go ahead and have this step um, or do a top to bottom. And we'll go ahead and run this in order to create this fence. And so for this one, what this is gonna do is this is gonna come in here and it's gonna create a fence that actually steps up with your terrain. So you can see how in this situation, this fence steps. You can also set the fence to do the same, or, or to um, follow along with the slope instead. So by changing the parameters here. 
So the way that the fencing sits on the terrain is fully adjustable. And so in addition to having the ability to come in here and create fences on terrain, there's also options in here for more architectural kinds of railings. So like for example, if I was to go in here and look at my glass railings, you've got a number of different options for creating glass railings in here as well. So like for example, if I was to select this one, then we could take this whole thing and just click on the button for make fence again. And it would ask you which direction um, or the offset for which direction you want this to be drawn. So I would just move this this way and click OK. And you can see how it creates this glass railing profile in here really quickly. So you can use this to create those architectural railings as well. So instant wall is another, not just a site extension, but also an extension for other things as well. But this basically creates walls and fences. So instant wall, if I was to select that, gives me the option for either railings or um, different kinds of walls and things like that. But like, for example, if I wanted to, I could come in here and I could create like a retaining wall. So like this wall right here, we could draw this curve along this face and then create a retaining wall in here using this option. So if we go into our parameters, for example, we can set if this slopes or steps. We can also set if it has additional depth down below as well as a number of other different options like pilasters and things like that. But you can see how I can use this to come in here and create a wall on my site really quickly. So you could also use this to create, there's different fences and other things like that as well. So if you wanted to create like metal fences or other walls, there's just a ton of different options in here for different things you can create, especially along terrains um, within instant wall. And so instant door and window allows you to create different doors and windows and place them inside of your walls. So this contains a number of different window and door open or options in here. So like for example, if you wanted to add like a fancy door to the front of your building, um, you could just select one of these in here and you can see how there's a number of different options in here for different styles of doors, but you can use this to add these doors to this face. And so this is all editable so you can adjust this so that it has like a 2D plan view if you're creating a if you're creating a up and down view of these doors, you can set that that way, but pretty much everything about this is editable. So you can use this to adjust like the styles and the rails and pretty much everything contained in these doors is editable. And so then once you've done this, once you've kind of set this up, you can click uh, make door and window. You can just drop this in here and you can see how this drops this door into this wall really quickly. And so in addition to having those doors, there's also a ton of different windows that you can add in here. So you can see how there's a number of different styles in here for different windows that you can use to add these to your model. So like for example, you've got like simple casement windows, you've got like single hung windows, all sorts of different options in here. So let's say I was to select like the single hung window for example, um, you could just bring this in here. Um, you could adjust this however you want using the different parameters then you could just drop that into your drop that into your building just like this. And so the nice thing about this is if you wanted to, you could also copy this across and you can see how it's making the hole in that wall. That is a single thickness wall, by the way. It gets a little more complicated if you don't do the single thickness wall. So instant door and window allows you to add doors and windows to your model. And so instant cladding is a tool contained in this extension that allows you to quickly add cladding to the outside of your building. So things like building skin. So the way that you can do that is you can come in here and you can click on the style icons and you can see how there's a ton of different options for different kinds of cladding that you can create, like a brick or corrugated metal or things like this beveled siding. You can select any of those and then you can run this and this will actually create the siding along this face. So you can see how this will add this siding in here really quickly. So if you want this like 3D siding look, you can use this extension to add that really fast. And one thing to note about this is it does, um, even though these windows cut holes in the walls, I found that you do kind of have to go in and trace out the opening just to make sure that that siding actually uh, stops with these doors and windows. Otherwise it will kind of cover across these, but it's still a really quick way to add those different cladding types. So let's say we had a different kind of cladding, like let's say we had CMU or let's go with the corrugated horizontal metal actually. So if I was to run this over here, that would add that really quickly to this face. 
So you can see how this adds a metal panel to this. And one thing you can do is you can actually set this to find the corners in here, and then it'll cap those corners if you set this up properly. So um, if you see down here, you set the option for make corners and say yes. Then if you run this, what this will do is this will actually find the corners. And instead of you seeing the profile of that metal panel, what it'll do is it'll generate kind of a cap right here instead. So this looks a little bit more realistic. So so just a really fast, easy way to add different kinds of cladding to your skin in your models. So in addition to doors and windows and cladding, um, this extension also contains a roof extension. So if you right click and we'll go ahead and turn on instant roof, what instant roof does is that allows you to create custom roofs inside of your models. And I would say that this, this extension has the most options for different roofs that I've seen of any extension. So you can see how there's a ton of different options in here and also a bunch of different styles. So you can uh, create anything from the actual framing of the roof if you want to do that all the way down to just a ton of different styles in here so like for example I could add this plantation roof so all I need to do is select that face click make roof and what that's going to do is that's going to come in here and that's going to add that roof with different framing and things like that and so obviously each one of these is going to look a little bit different depending on what your floor plan looks like but it's really easy to go in here and make changes or try different roofs or different things in here to kind of get the effect that you're looking for and again this one contains the wood framing and things like that but this also works for if you select like different heights of roofs like this one I can select multiple different roofs in here and select a style like let's say we went with this California ranch style right here and this is gonna make the roof for both the top and the bottom, and you're gonna get some intersections in here. And you can adjust things like the heights, like for example, this one probably came in here a little bit too tall. So if we were to undo this and then try it again, inside the parameters, you can adjust this. So you can set it so that the slope is certain certain kinds of slopes. So if I took this to a four to 12, for example, that's gonna completely change the way that this roof looks. You can see how this gets a little bit lower. So you can adjust those slopes and different things inside of your options. And what I really like about this is just the ability to select different roof planes and within the different roof planes, come in here and still make one roof really quickly. So then the last piece of instant architecture I want to talk about is instant stair. So instant stair is a tool contained inside of this, uh, this extension that allows you to quickly create stairs. So if I was to right click in here and click instant stair, there's three different kinds of stairs that you can create. You can create a stair from a standard shape where you just dictate the different sizes. So like for example, I could create a multi-level stair just like this one and all I would have to do is just come in here and when I edit this I could adjust the width and the height as well as the number of risers um, the the way the nosings are gonna look I can also add railing lines um, in here as well so you can use this to quickly generate a stair like this one you just click make stair you can see how that's gonna create that for you so, and then the nice thing about this is all of these railing lines get created in here. And so then you can take instant railing or instant fence and railing. And then you could create different kind of fences using this. So like, for example, if you wanted this to have like a pipe rail or something like that, you could select that and then just run this. And it's going to ask for your offset side and then once you set that what it's going to do is it's going to come in here and it's going to generate that railing for you and you can see how those railings with those railing lines actually look really good you might have to come in here and maybe make a little bit of an adjustment um, just to make sure that this is a hundred percent centered if you wanted to but overall this is able to create those railings really quickly so you can kind of couple these extensions together um, but instant stair can also if you draw a line from a point to another point it can create a stair just using that information so like for example if I wanted to create a simple stair right here maybe like a framed stair like a deck stair I could just click on that I can run this extension 
and it's going to create this deck stair. And you can see how what this does is it gives you kind of a nosing at the top. This is all fairly adjustable, but just having the ability to create those stairs that having to come in here and do a lot of work is a really nice feature. And then you can also draw out your treads and your risers. So like this, and then you just select them. And I'm going to use selection toys to get the faces really quickly. So I'm just going to select this and do a select only faces. And then you select this end option right here. Well, then you can run this and you can create a stair based on that selection. So, and again, they all have the option for adding railing lines and things like that. But if you click make stair, that's gonna come in here and that's gonna create this. And you can adjust that height of that stair um, when you have this selected. So like for example, if I was to do this again, I could set my height overall in this case to something like 20 feet instead of 10. And you can see how this stair looks completely different based on the uh, based on the dimension that I gave it. So, and this also works for um, this also works for faces like this one that are more curved. So, if I do a select only faces and then select this, we can come in here and we'll just leave the same option selected. But if we click make stair, that's going to allow us to quickly create a curving stair as well. So this really, this really gives you a lot of smart options for creating different stairs and other things as well. So I know I kind of rushed through this and that's because this extension has so many architectural applications that it's hard to jam them into one video. But leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. If you'd like to see more about any of these extensions, I'd be happy to make that video. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.